Okay, hello and welcome back to the Land Rover Toolbox videos once again. And today we're doing a little bit of rust busting with Buzzworld, which is advanced automotive coatings and corrosion inhibitor suppliers. Okay, so our under seat box battery tray, which is made of steel, is in a very rusty condition. So we're going to have to do some remedial treatment, get rid of the rust and the under seal, plus some of the paint off before we go ahead and prepare it for painting. There is plenty of under seal on the underside of the box and on the inside it's painted as it would be the same color as the seat box. What we've done is remove a lot of the paint and sandblast it and used a wire brush to clean it out. Now you can see that there's still rust holding on in there which is almost impossible to remove. So what we're going to use is Corollas S2 Corrosion Inhibited Primer Paint. This is available from the Buzzworld website and the link will be below this video on YouTube. S2 uh, is a true rust inhibitor and apparently it is more active if it's painted to rust for adhesion. It chemically modifies the rust into hematite and magnetite as the diagram shows and this will keep working over a period of time. Yes, I know what you're thinking, and it is exactly aimed at Land Rover owners, as the owner of Buzzworld is an owner himself. Okay, with automotive stuff, we know that rust grows underneath the paintwork, so we need to move the paintwork back so we've completely uncovered the rusty areas. Now, this paint primer is very handy for boxes like this where you can't quite get into the corners to kill off the rust so a heavy coat of this will keep on converting the rust into something else and stabilizing it so the box will not rot out in time handy piece of equipment here is a twisted wire brush which fits on a grinder and you definitely need goggles for these because this throws off a lot of shrapnel um, and wires very good for cleaning rust paint and under seal off very very quickly i'll show you that in a second i'll just get the goggles on first right well you've got to be careful with this wire brush because it throws a lot of shrapnel at you so point it away so it's working at throwing any debris in the opposite direction from where you're standing you can see the sparks there wire pieces come off the brush very very quickly I'd also advise that when you're using the grinder, it has no guard on it, so keep your hands well away from the rotary brush, as seen here. This is a very effective consumable. Now what I've done here is the sections that were underneath on the battery box, I call them breathers, but they're not. These are spot welded on, and I just drilled them out with a six mil drill. They can either be riveted back into place or welded into place since they're steel. Okay, so the grinder use, I'll show you this, how quick it is for um, with the wire brush for taking off the rust and also the paintwork. Now, what I'm doing is finding the rust spots and removing the paint around it so we're exposing the whole area before we treat it with the primer. You can see that there very clearly. Also, the under seal on this seat box, it will remove about 99% of it and then you have to clear off the rest of it with some spirits afterwards, but you can see how quickly that shifts it. Downside, of course, the uh, rotary brush will only get into certain areas. It doesn't get into corners or right tight into uh, sharp edges. This is why we're using the uh, corrosion inhibitor as a primer. Okay, so this area here, it needn't have been shot blasted, but I've shot blasted as much out as I can. And you can see there's still rust hiding there, which if only painted would rot again. Basically the primer, once you've got rid of loose rust and paint, it will start converting the rust. So it's pretty handy if you can't get rid of all the rust off the box. Now I've done a job here because I want to paint this quite nicely. Now for the last little bit before I actually put the primer on is just get rid of the rest of the under seal and all the dust and I'm just using a panel wipe here. That will ensure that the primer will stick properly. So basically what we're doing is covering any metal that's had rust on it. 
it's unnecessary to paint over where the paint has been but you can see there is still a rust present so the primer is much required so once we put this on and let it dry we'll key it back down and then undercoat it and then top coat it with paint you can see here the corrosion in the electrical or the toolbox under the driver's seat is not so bad so we basically cleaned it and then given it a primer coat just to make sure that the rust is not going to appear back in the seat box. This is the area that's visible from the vehicle, whereas underneath you can see that the hand painting has left a certain texture. So we'll be using some sort of texture paint to cover this up. So the rust primer will turn and stabilize the rust into hermatite and magnetite, which you do some research on this, you'll find that Hammerite claimed to do it, but it doesn't actually do it. Okay, so we have a choice of using stone chip or buzz weld chassis in one paint on the bottom of the uh, seat box or the Raptor kit, which is a liner kit and it's textured. So let us know in the comments below which you'd like to see us to use on the seat box.